Once upon a midnight dreary, while I pondered weak and weary over many quaint and curious volumes of forgotten lore, while I nodded nearly napping, suddenly here comes a tapping, as if someone gently rapping, rapping at my chamber door. To some visitor, I mutter, tapping at my chamber door. It's, it's only this and nothing more. And distinctly, I remember it was in the bleak of late December, and each separate dying ember wrought its ghost upon the main. Eagerly, I wished for the morrow. Vainly, I had sought to borrow from my books surcease of sorrow, sorrow for my lost Lorraine, for the rare and beautiful girl whom the angels name Lorraine, nameless here, never again. And the silken sat and certain rustling of each purple curtain thrilled me, filled me with fantastic terrors never felt before, so that now, to still the beating of my heart, I stood repeating, it is some visitor entreating entrance of my chamber door, some late visitor entreating entrance of my chamber door, this, only this and nothing more. Presently, now my soul grows stronger and hesitating no longer, I say, Sir or madam, truly your forgiveness I implore, but the fact is I was just napping, and so gently you come rapping, so faintly you come tapping, tapping at my chamber door, that I scarcely was sure I heard you, and here I open wide the door. Darkness there, nothing more. Deep into the darkness peering, long I stand there, wondering, fearing, doubting, dreaming, dreams no mortal ever dare to dream again. But the silence wasn't broken, and the stillness gave no token. And the only word here spoken was the whispered word, Lorraine. This I whispered, and an echo murmured back the word, Lorraine. Merely this, and very plain. Back into my chamber turning, all my soul now within me burning. Soon again I hear a tapping, somewhat louder than before. Surely, say I, surely this is something at my window lattice. Let me see then what thereat is, and this mystery explore. Let my heart be still and quiet for a moment. This mystery explore, it must be the wind, and nothing more. Open, I fling the shutter, when with many a flirt and flutter in here steps a stately raven of the saintly days of yore. And not the least obeisance makes he, not a minute stops or stays he, but with mien of lord or lady, perches above my door, perches above my door, perches and sits with nothing more. And the raven sitting lonely above my door speaks only one word, as if his soul in one word he outpours. Nothing further there he utters, not a feather there he flutters, till I scarcely more than mutter. Yes, other girls have gone before, and the morrow he will leave me as my hopes have flown before. But the bird says, nevermore. Then, methinks, the air grows denser, perfumed by an unseen censer, swung by angels whose footfalls must have tinkled on the tufted mane. And I cry, you wretch, thy God had lent thee, by the angels he had sent thee, respite, respite, please, from the memories of Lorraine, please quaff and stop the kind Nepenthe and forget this lost Lorraine. Quote the raven, never again. Prophet, I say, you thing of evil, prophet still, if bird, devil, whether the tempter sent you or whether tempest tossed, you here is sure desolate, yet all undaunted on this desert land enchanted, on this home by horror haunted. Do you tell me truly, I implore, is there, is there hope still? Tell me, I implore. But the raven quotes, Nevermore. You prophet, say I, you thing of evil. Prophet still, bird, devil. By the heaven that bends above us, by the God we both sustain. Tell his soul with sorrow laden, if within the distant Aden I shall hold this. Beautiful maiden whom the angels name Lorraine. I love her. 
hold the rare and beautiful maiden from the angel's name Lorraine. But the raven quotes, Ever again. Be that word, our sign in parting, you bird, you enemy, I shriek, upstarting. Go back into the tempest and the night's Plutonian shore and leave no black plume as a token of the lies thy soul had spoken to me. Leave my loneliness unbroken and quit from above my door and take your beak out from my heart. Don't return and take thy form from off my door. Quote the raven, nevermore. But now the raven gently flitting will be sitting, will be sitting on the lowly lattice aside the shutters of my window frame. And his eyes have all the seeming of a demon who's dreaming. And the moonlight over him streaming throws his shadows on the main, while my soul from out his shadow that lies imprisoned on her chain still cries out, Lorraine.